So it seems like it won't take a charge. So I'm just basically doing a diode check on one of these transistors without a schematic. And it appears, it appears that this transistor is bad. I'm not doing anything. So this is what you call a blind dummy check where you just basically, okay, I got something. I got 0. 0.68, all right. So force along. Transistor. Okay, that looks good. Again, I'm working on this Bose uh, Sound Link mini speaker for a friend. And it, he purchased a new battery, and it still won't charge. And looking online, it seemed like uh, that's the ongoing problem with these things after a while. Uh, brand, brand new, it's worth about $200, or you paid about $200. But right now, Bose is running a special for $104, $109 like that, I believe. So, I mean, even for a hundred dollars, um, it's probably still worth it. You know, if I was to if I was to charge someone for this, I'd probably charge them twenty five bucks. You know, if I can find the problem very quickly, and but the the interesting thing about this unit is that you have I have my makeshift power supply here. I wanted to check something out. Um, so, uh, so here, I have 12 volts going in to the external power here. So I, I get, if you can see that, Flickering red light, so it won't charge. Going through the external power source, coming here with a transformer, I get something. Someone said on um, YouTube, if you hold down the mute button, it should be set. But that the problem with this unit here, you have the charging. What's that micro? Let's see, let's see. So with the charger here, there's nothing ha happening. There's no activity. There's anything I can't power it up. So I, I'm not sure what happened, but I'm certain um, that maybe one of these components had gone bad. So it's, it's just the circuit board. I guess I'm going to take it apart. Um, I'm just going to do dummy checks, check the dial, check the capacitors, do like an EP and check. And, you know, um, and if I see something slightly looks off, then I'm going to expect it further. But again, um, I looked this up. It's worth brand new. At, at, at one point, it was worth $199. And Bose is slashing the price pretty much half at 103. Um, people on YouTube swear by that is a pretty good uh, sounding 
speaker to have on your desk at work or in your garage or um, so I guess give it a try and see what happens you know so I'm just gonna look at it further and uh, it was a little you know I have all the tools necessary tools believe it or not <laughs> See the tip of the, the exacto knife. I broke a blade. I broke a piece of the blade here. So I went and got some of my uh, tools that I use to open up um, phones. Right, slide underneath. Um, so this thing here, the little little screen, and I gotta probably will have to reglue this stuff, but just to get to. This part here. So I'm just um, before I I I, I um, unscrew these the circuit board here. I'm going to just basically still probe around here and see what's going on and check some voltages and stuff like that. All right, this is Randolph Parker and Matt, and stay tuned. Hello, this is Randolph Parker, and I'm looking at uh, uh, the Bose Soundlink Mini. And I'm I'm using the microscope to identify this particular component on the bore. Uh, the issue is that <clears throat> it's not charging. Um, I went online and I realized uh, for this model, this this Bose Soundlink Mini, there's uh, a lot of issues with it not charging after uh, maybe six months to a year. So here, I'm checking this component. It might just be a jumper resistor, um, but I'm checking around here um, to see if there's any obvious burnt. So here's the, the port, the USB micro port to, uh, to charge up the sound speaker, the bold sound speaker. So um, I'm looking for a schematic. I'm trying to source a schematic now in order to get the value. Even having it on having it on the microscope, as you can see, I can't even see the markers, but you can see the resistors and the other ICs and transistors next, components next to it that you can see see the markers really well. But there's no marker here, so most likely it is a jumper. Um, Resistor. So that's the one day when you're troubleshooting without a schematic. Um, you're poking around. You're you're doing guesswork. It's always good to try to source for any documentations, schematics, um, diagrams. To even having a pictorial diagram will help. Um, for for the most part, however, uh, not having that. Uh, it's just basically, I don't know the setup of the configuration of these components. You know, so here you see a trace going here to, I believe, a cap. You see the trace underneath going to the cap. So I'm working on that. So stay tuned. Again, this is Randolph Parker, MS, and I keep you posted.